Hello beautiful people. Today we've got a budget deck profile and it's going to be 12 crit soul saver aggro royal paladin post VBT05 deck profile. And we're we're doing this for the for all the people out there who love their soul saver budget beatdown deck. So this is for you soul saver players. Starting off is our starter Glime. I got the shiny one, and yes, you can run Barkle, but I'm just gonna put the shiny Glime somewhere, so it's gonna go in the budget deck. Next up for grade threes, we got four copies of Soul Saver Dragon, because you wanna ride this card first. So Soul Saver Dragon's skill is act Soul Blast 5, six of your units gain 15k, and then when it attacks, auto Soul Charge 1. So you use this with Force 2, you got plus 30k to your comms, and they all got extra crits on them, so that's a lot of pressure for your opponent, and they don't want to deal with that. You got a lot of ways to soul charge in this deck, so you're going to get to that soul blast 5 just fine. And if you have 10, you can do it twice and give plus 6 to your comms. Cool. So, next up is the real finisher of this deck. It's Decorous Knight Hang Hangi Hengist. So... When it attacks, you Soul Blast 2 Grade 3s. Call any number of cards from your hand to rear, and those get 10k. And then if you call 3 or more cards, your opponent has to call 2 or more cards at a time from their hand, if they guard. So, this is really good, because, you know, you, uh, you do your, uh, your stuff, you ride Hengist, Soul Blast 2 Grade 3s that you uh, maybe have Soul Charged through the game, and uh, you can attack with those rear guards on those force two markers, swing with your vanguard, call four or more rear guards to this column, and then including during the battle this is attacking, they have to guard with two or more cards from their hand, and these get plus 10k. So you're getting off five attacks, and you're putting them on a really on um, the battle door restrict guard restrict skill. So that's a really easy way to finish you off your opponent. And if they're saying no guard. You're running 12 crit, so boom, crit, crit game. Easy. We want to be able to soul charge and get all that power quick, so we're running two copies of uh, Swordsman of the Explosive Flames Palamedes. Vaughn plays Vanner Rear, soul charge. And when it uh, when a card is put from the into the drop zone from your soul, he gets 5k. I.e., a uh, little example it gives you there is the plus 25 it gives you if you soul blast 5, kind of like... You know, use this with Soul Saver, hint, hint. Uh, or you can use this with Hengist, get plus 10k, hint, hint, hint. Palmedes is good, but I only want to run it at 2, because I don't really want to ride it, even though it has a Force Gift, which is really convenient. But uh, for the most part, is a 100% rear guard card. We have four copies of our ride target, uh, High Dog Breeder Akane. So, Akane... Helps you find Pongo, and Pongo gives you soul, and also what Kane helps you deck thin. So Kane's skill is Vanner Rear one place, Kambos one, search for Pongo, call to rear and shuffle. And then continuous Vanner Rear during the battle that it was boosted by a high beast, this gets 3k. So Pongo's a high beast, and we're also running a Pure Bright Unicorn, which is a high beast. So we're going to hit that 20k, 21k threshold to hit over those 18k numbers just fine even though it was already hitting over the 18k number to begin with, but who cares? Kane is a really good card if you're going to play this deck, so please run for it. Next up, we're going to go into our uh, rare cards. Four copies of Funigol. We're running Funigol because we want to soul charge. This is more important than K and Bedivere for building a board. You want the soul. <laughs> Uh, when it attacks a vanguard while being boosted, you counter blast one, soul charge one, this gets 5k. So this is really cool because if you call this out uh, with Hengus's ability, uh, it gets the 10k, and then on top of that, when it attacks, if you counter blast, you're giving it another 5k on top of that battle door skill it has. So it gains power, and it gives you soul, so just run four copies of this card, and it's a 10k base, and it's a dog, high beasts. Next up, for grade twos, four copies of Loading Angel, because this card is bonkers. It's, at the end of the battle, if you have four, five or more units, you canvas one, put it into soul, draw two. So you're getting soul and drawing cards? Whoa, crazy. You want definitely want to be running this card at four, 100%. Please run Loading Angel at four if you're playing a soul saver deck. Easy. 
Next up, Grade Ones. Four copies of Pongle, because we're playing for Akane. Easy, right? So, when it's placed, if you have another unit in the same column, Soul Charge one. If the Soul Charge card is a trigger, it gets 5k. Cool, more power. Uh, yeah, you might Soul Charge one of those crits, but you know what, you'll make up for it, and you get the Battle Door skill from Hengus, and you might get the power to help you with when you're doing the Soul Saver turn. And just 5k early game is cool as well, but definitely mostly there for the Soul Charge. And it works when it's placed from hand, too, so it doesn't have to be called by Akane. Uh, next is... Four copies of Pure Bright Unicorn. Pure Bright is basically Pongo, but with more restrictions. Uh, it's 7k, and when it's placed, if you have three in the front row, Soul Charge. Uh, and then the other skill is when it's placed, if you have five or more, it gets 5k. So it can get the power too, but you have to have the full board when it's placed. Uh, you have to have five or more units, so place, if this is the fourth rear guard, so that's five units, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, four rear guards, and your five is your your vanguard. So if you have five units when you place this, uh, he gets the five k. That's cool. And if you have front row of three, you get the soul charge. So uh, no, really, really search it. You kind of just have to call it from your hand. But you, soul charging, you want a soul charge. Uh, and because we're running twelve crit, we're running, we're running. We don't need draw PGs in this deck where we're going. Uh, we're running four copies of Indestructible Knight. Arena. Ir uh, Arena skill is uh, when she's placed, you discard a card and you per PG, just like the other ones. The other skill is when it's placed on the Vanguard circle, you can draw a card, then discard. You know, helping you uh, filter out for the for the grade two or grade threes you're looking for early game. You know, if you have to ride a PG. Uh, yeah. So we can run grade one PGs in this deck because we are going aggro. Triggers! This is the best part of the whole deck profile. We are running four, eight, twelve crits. Yeah. We're just completely going aggro here. Twelve vanilla V series standard crits. Just all out. And with the Force 2 markers, it's even more crits. And then four heals because we don't have 16 crits. That's literally my only reason we're running heals is because we don't have 16 crits. All right. So that was it for the deck profile for the most part. Uh, that was pretty quick just because the deck is so simple. This is a budget deck. I don't really know how much. The, I think the only two triple R's in the whole deck are Akane and Soul Saver, but these aren't really very meta relevant decks to begin with. Uh, some people might run Soul Savers in their Gansalot decks just as a finisher. You can do that, um, but I don't think that was as popular in Japan, and it's not really popular here right now either. So Soul Saver is probably pretty cheap. Kane is probably pretty cheap. Technology exists. Why don't we just uh, check out how much these cards are going for as of today, which is September 6th. Let's see, Soul Saver Dragon is going for literally three bucks. So easy. How much is a Kane going for? Kane is two bucks, literally less. It's like a dollar maybe. No, it's like two bucks. So your most expensive cards in the whole deck are literally three dollars and two dollars. So if you can't spend more than $50 on this deck, you might not want to get into trading cards because that's the kind of standard. You're spending around 50 to 100 duck, but I can't talk. 50 to 100 bucks for a deck. Uh, this deck is definitely around that $50 range for the mo for for sure <laughs> for the most part. Uh that's like 12 8 bucks. Yeah, that's 20 bucks right there, and that's basically your triple R's. Everything else is commons that you can... If you have a locals, you can literally go and ask people for the extra cards. Ask them for extra PGs, extra crits. They reprinted uh, crits uh, and heals in the booster set, so there's a new surplus of heals and crits in circulation right now, so you don't have to worry about finding those. Um, literally everything else is a rare or common. Oh, and the double R's are Hengus. It's, I mean... Pingus is a rare too, but Palamedes is double R, but this card's probably like 50 cents. 
So that was it for the deck profile, guys. Let me know what you think. If you guys want to see this deck in action, I'll try and see if I can get a game. I'm just in with this deck. I've just been really busy for the most part, so it's really hard for me to find time to record matches with people. But other than that, this deck does seem really fun if you want a budget build. It has a little bit of a consistency issue just because it's super reliant on drawing into your pieces. So if you don't draw Soul Saver or you don't draw Hengus, like and you don't draw the soul charging pieces right when you need them for that soul blast five you know you're you're kind of stuck but other than that the deck's pretty fun it's pretty decent for a budget deck so i think you guys will really like it if you're looking for a really cheap vanguard paladin deck to play so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you all have a really 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 good day bye